What's going on, Flix Talkers? Welcome back to another trailer reaction. I know it's been a minute, y'all. I had to kind of put my reactions or trailers on pause to focus on my movie reactions and my live streams. But you know what? I wanted to come back because we've been waiting. The internet has been waiting. The A24 fans have been waiting for them to drop something, a little glimpse, not just pictures of Maxine, the third installment. First, we got X. Then we got the prequel Pearl. Now we have Triple X Maxine. All right. And it does take place in the 80s. I don't want to talk too much about it. I just want to go into this. I'm going to try not to pause as much as possible. I know you guys hate that and give you guys my thoughts after the fact. So before we get into it, if you want to show love, make sure to hit that big thumbs up. Consider subscribing now where I do more reactions like this because tomorrow we have Joker part two part do and you know i'm giving my thoughts on that hit that subscribe let's get into it guys maxine our first look so maxine your agent tells us you're quite a popular name in adult film and entertainment is that correct i'm curious did you always want to be in that line of work i always wanted to be famous If you need to read off the sides we gave you, just go ahead, all right? I know the lines. She turns to the camera and, through her trauma, addresses the lens directly. Name five celebrities who got their start in horror movies. Jamie Lee Curtis, John Travolta, Demi Moore, Brooke Shields, and... Maxine fucking Minx. I don't like walking out here with a freaking Night Stalker guy in the loose. The Night Stalker. Night Stalker. Night Stalker. It's terrorizing Los Angeles. I can handle myself. So said every bad girl in Hollywood. Maxine, I'm the private detective. I had to find you. My employer is a very powerful man. The past ain't finished with you. It's gonna keep knocking at your door. What? Tragically, another victim of the Night Stalker. I knew three people who were murdered in three days. I'd be pretty scared. What are you hiding, Maxine? If I tell you something, we've got confidentiality. What'd you do? This is the defining role of your career. What was going on in your life that's interfering with this picture? Squash it. I intend to. Maxine! 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 Maxine. Maxine. You're a fucking movie star. Wow. Oh, Lord in heaven. And I believe it is coming out in July. So let's prepare for that. Okay, my damn thoughts. If y'all know me, <laughs> you guys know I did a good job of not pausing or saying shit. Okay, that was tough to do. First off the bat. Wow, this cast. This cast is fantastic, amazing. I try to do my due diligence and not research anything anymore especially stuff that i'm really really interested or looking forward to i want to be surprised so i can give you guys my honest and genuine thoughts along the way huge cast giancarlo esposito a lot of big ladies a lot of legacy men like uh, kevin bacon and uh you know uh, um i don't know i'm i'm, I'm just, just a flash flash of like stars everywhere hazley um yeah uh i believe lily collins um but yeah, we got a lot of we got a lot of big stars in this movie, which is fantastic. I love that. They're up in the budget. So what are they gonna do? Uh well, at least I don't know if they're up in the budget. I think they're up in the ante, is what I mean. They're gonna put a little more into this casting to make it just a wow factor for people that don't know. Hey, letting you guys know this is a trilogy. So this is the third one. Maybe go back and watch the first two. Which I don't know if people that watch this one, if they're gonna necessarily do. I don't think you'd actually, you know what, the way they're, the way they're pitching it though, you don't have to, you don't necessarily have to with Pearl. You had to, I thought you had to, um, 
But with this third one, it looks like it could be a complete standalone because it doesn't really have too much ties other than the Bates Motel. So if you guys don't know, if you guys aren't from California, if you guys have never visited the Universal Studios lot, the Bates Motel is an actual set that's still there that you can go visit or, well, they take you on a little tram trolley visit of the area and she sees her former self. It looked like her former self as Pearl. Old Pearl. Well, an ex. Pearl. Uh, it's hard. It's hard. You have to watch the movies. Okay. Um, but it looked like her in her later years. But there is one central theme. It all comes back to, I want to be a fucking star. The movie's all, she's always been wanting that. And she will do whatever it takes to get there. Uh, I don't remember, maybe an X, uh, that birthmark that she had. It looked like she had some kind of birthmark freckles going on right here. I do remember having her having freckles. It looked like there was some kind of big birthmark. I don't remember from the second movie. Uh, I'm sorry, the well, it would be chronologically the second movie, but X. You guys let me know. Do you guys remember that? It's been a while since I've seen these first uh, couple of movies. Okay. Uh, third thing that I really noticed is the <laughs> Night Stalker aspect. I didn't know that. I mean, yes, 1985. That was the year I was born. I know that was a year of mayhem when it came to the Night Stalker that was terrorizing for, I believe, roughly a year he was killing. And people were just locking their doors and really looking over their shoulders every day, especially if you lived in L.A. or California in general. And the fact that they're going to be implementing that into there with the detective story going on and he makes contact with Maxine. <laughs> uh, I forgot the I already forgot her last name. Maxine Minx is what it said. Maxine Minx is what she's going by. I think is awesome. You have to have a criminal aspect. If you're if you're going to try to go as real as possible, I think. And you know what? The Night Stalker is one of the crazier ones, man. He definitely is. Or was. Um, I wonder if they're going to show him. A lot of aspects started kind of looking a little bit like Once Upon a Time in Hollywood with a lot of the backlot sets and whatnot. We're going to have a lot of interaction with the co-stars before this movie or this picture that she takes on. Also, it looks like She's going to be doing her, you know, paid dues, so to speak, while working in a video store. Also, you know, it looks like she might have to be uh, doing some kind of stripping gig or, or or something that gains the attention of this night soccer because it showed him in one of those booths just kind of gripping his gloves or whatever he was wearing or, you know, the jacket that he was wearing. Either way, I know this one's going to be good. And they have to please just end it with the trilogy. Ty West, this is sometimes when you have a good thing, you need to know when to stop. And I think this trilogy is going to be the good thing because I really love the first two. I love Pearl more than I love X, but X is still really good. And if you haven't seen them both, please check it out. I hope this just offshoots. Uh, I know this isn't Ty West's first, you know, uh, a rodeo, whatever. He's had one even before the X and Pearl movies. But um, I hope this is a good jumping off point for him to get a uh, um, more original ideas out for future projects so that being said i'm actually very very excited with what i saw didn't know we were going this route and i don't know you guys let me know your thoughts i'm super excited guys joker 2 tomorrow man what the hell <laughs> it's gonna be a i'm, I'm just waking up with my coffee but I, I this woke me up you guys let me know your thoughts in the comments below hit that big thumbs up to support the channel and consider subscribing today for more i'll see you guys in the next one i'm gone